Alrighty, here we go. We're on to the finals. Let's go ahead and pick out our stage. We Fit Studio is the first stage. It's our final five, and with this episode, we're going to determine our champion of the second Amiibo tournament. These are our five remaining. I expect this to be pretty exciting so far. Looks pretty exciting already. So right now it looks like Boozer's in the best shape. Of course anything can change. There's a lot of damage on a lot of these people here. Oh, there's a counter and Mario's the first one dead. There goes Boozer, he got stomped. He got spiked basically. There goes Aura Lord. There goes DP Man Jr. So Luigi, of all people, has the lead to start out. Flippin' Luigi. So yeah, it looks here. It's starting to get pretty close as more people get more damage. And then finally, Super Luigi's dead, but Boozer is not looking good. He has the most damage. Even Man Jr. now has Buster. That's one of his better uh, Monado arts that he seems to use often. There goes Boozer again. So Boozer's not looking good so far. Everyone else does have over 100 damage on the other stocks, though. There goes Luigi. There goes Mario. I tell you, I am really excited to see whoever ends up winning this. I'm pretty sure on who I think is going to win it, but of course anything can happen with any result. Oh, and Luigi is the first one gone. So Luigi is out. He started out in the lead, but got too careless and got eliminated. There goes DP Man Jr. for the second time, but he has a pretty good lead going into the next Last stock here. Cycling through his Monado arts. He's going to settle on jump. And Mario's going to go out in fourth. But right now, this one coming down between... Oh, Boozer got launched. Between Boozer, Demon Man Jr., and Aura Lord. There goes Boozer. So, Boozer still has only finished with one close call. That close call in the la that went to Mario in that last one. Demon Man Jr. has the damage, but he also has the power, so he could end up winning this thing if he plays carefully. Or Lord just going for the grabs right now. It's probably the best thing to rack up the damage to get ready for a smash. Demon Man Jr. now over 200 damage, but of course, anything can happen. Starting to get on the offensive. Oh my gosh, going for the backslash, and that's really helping him out. Slings Demon Man Jr., and Demon Man Jr. is dead. So with that one, Lucario will win the first of the four rounds and be pretty strong going into the next one and Shulk will be joining them, Boozer will be joining them, Super Mario will be joining them, Luigi is out in fifth place. Take a look at the stats before we go to the next one. Five kills for Super Mario, three for everyone else except Super Luigi who got no kills. So that'll wrap up the first round. We agree, Super Luigi is going to go out in fifth. So now we're going to go ahead and remove Luigi. And we'll go ahead and get started with the next part here. And I'm not going to switch over to four-player Smash. We're just going to continue to fight in this one area here. So that way I don't have to change and save everybody or skip ahead. So we're just going to continue fighting in here. And our next stage is Willy Castle. I'm looking forward to this one. So now we're on to the four best competitors. Two of mine, two of uh, DP Man's. So far, it's actually looking pretty interesting. 
And this is our final four. Definitely a worthy final four, I would say. Even man shifting through his Monado arts. A lot, actually. He's gonna settle on Buster. Buster's pretty good for just racking up the damage. Wow, DP Man Jr. has the damage racked up a little. Uh, Super Mario has the best looking shape right now. Oh, now everyone's over 100 damage. I expect there to be much more endurance now that we're down to just four competitors. Probably going to last a little longer, too. Well, that was a good hit, but Deep Man Jr. is still not out, but that hit's going to eliminate him. So Deep Man Jr. is the first one out. And there goes Boozer flying, but it's not quite enough to eliminate him. However, he can't recover, so he is going to be eliminated. That's a lot of damage to Orlord on that kick there, but will still recover. There's Mario off the ledge, and DP Man has been eliminated again. What is going on here? This is very scary right now. The last time DP Man was in the bottom, he got close to eliminated. Now he's going to settle on Smash. Does a lot of damage there. That's going to eliminate Orlord for the first time. Mario managed to somehow stay alive through that. Mario still on all three stocks. Two for Boozer, two for Orlord. Oh, there he goes flying again. Oh, that's a lot of damage. The Super Mario's finally going to get eliminated by Deepy Man's sword. There goes Boozer again. That throw is not enough to eliminate uh, Deepy Man Jr. yet, and he's still alive. Just getting comboed in between DP Man and Mario flipping Bowser is. Oh, that's a nice powerful hit. How in the world is DP Man still alive? But he's playing very well right now. This has to be careful. Looks like it may be between either him or Boozer. He eliminates Aura Lord. And there goes Boozer! So DP Man stays clutch! And we'll move on to the final three and finally gets killed there by Super Mario's Fireball. So now it's Mario and Lucario. <laughs> they rhyme. So with that, Shulk now has two close calls, but is still alive. That was actually pretty concerning. I thought it was going to be DP Man Jr. there, but the DP Man hype was almost over. But he stayed alive. And Mario's barely going to recover. The hype is real right now. We're seeing now between Mario and Lucario to see who's going to win this round. I think it's going to be Mario pretty easily, but just how long is Lucario going to last here? Just back and forth attacks. Look at that. Oh, there's a smash, so Orlord is going to put Mario down to his last stock, but Mario has the huge advantage, and he does get the hit. So with that, we now have Mario at three wins. And we have our three, Mario, Orlord, and DP Man Jr., as Boozer now goes out in fourth place. Look at the stats. Mario with five kills, DP Man Jr. with four. Very clutch at the end to stay alive. So now we're down to just three. Three left. Let's go ahead and remove Boozer. We're going to go ahead and get to our next round here. Let's go ahead and immediately hop right into it. It's going to be Norfair. I'm looking forward to this one. I expect this to be a long, pretty enduring match as everyone's starting to be very careful about who they attack and when they attack. It's not going to be just chaotic when you throw an attack and hope it hits somebody. You have to be very careful. D-Man Jr. has got his Monado Arts affected. He's got Buster. 
But he also has the most damage already after being hit a couple times by Mario. Still alive, though. And he's really powerful with that Buster, too, if you can just land a couple times. Oh, no! Nice counter. That's going to do a lot of damage to Mario. Oh, Mario tried to go for the spike there on Oral Lord. This is going to be very close here. These three... Honestly, I was expecting Oral Lord to go out and forth, but... These three are definitely very deserving of the top three so far. If I had to make a prediction, I think it's going to come down to Super Mario and DP Man Jr. in the finals. But Oral Lord has been performing pretty well recently, at least to a last long enough, and Mario's barely going to recover there. Not a lot of fighting going on here. They're all trying to rack damage up on each other. Mario's not quite out. Everyone's still with a lot of damage and could easily go out in one good hit. Oh no, Lucario's shield is broken. Mario's going to die first. And there goes Orlord. So Demon Man Jr. with the lead, but a lot of damage. Oh, and he does smash him. So everyone's now back down to their second stock. We're talking about these guys. Lucario has done pretty well. Has never finished near the bottom. Has kind of just finished at worst the middle. But, of course, being paired with tougher competition is going to make it really tough. We've seen some... Shockers in winning and in the losing, or close to losing, of Shulk, DP Man Jr., but has what it takes to win, definitely. And Super Mario starting to perform a lot better now that we're coming down to just one-on-ones now. Really good when it comes to one-on-ones, as we saw from the first tournament. Went undefeated. He's a previous champion. He knows what he's doing. That's a lot of damage on DP Man Jr. now. Everyone once again up to over a hundred. Lucario and Demon Man Jr. flying off a little bit after Mario's throws. Warlord's gonna get back on the ground. A lot of them, a lot of damage. And there they both go. There goes Demon Man Jr. and Super Mario. Warlord now with a slight lead, but of course anything can happen. Especially one good hit will kill him. Especially it's for Mario. If Mario hits him, he's just flipping gone. Of course, Orlord is more powerful when he has more damage, so maybe even worrying. And there goes DP Man Jr. DP Man Jr. is eliminated from the tournament, people. Oh my goodness. I wasn't as shocked as I usually am because this is the bottom, the final three. I wasn't expecting it. Oh my goodness. But yes, that eliminated uh, DP Man Jr. He's going to take third. After doing so well, and there goes Warlord. Super Mario with 81 damage could could end up making the comeback here. But it looks like it's going to be between these two when we go to a final three-stock match, which we're going to do that because we want to be fair when these two actually do fight each other. But wow, Deep Man Jr. is going to take third. I was not expecting that at all. I think DVB will be, probably be disappointed, but he'll probably also be happy that uh, DP Man Jr. did get to the final three. He trained a good amiibo. To charge up that scalding water. He doesn't seem, Super Mario doesn't seem to use that scalding flood. He usually relies on a lot of his other attacks. Slowly shielding and healing moves to get some of the health back. Warlord has not fought Mario one-on-one -on -one a lot, but he does get that kill. So a nice confidence boost for Warlord. He now has four wins as we head into the final round between Mario and Lucario. As DP Man Jr. gets eliminated in third, but a very good performance nonetheless. Gets the podium. Warlord had five kills that round. DP had two, and Super Mario had one. Alrighty, so heading into this match... Uh, Orlord has four wins and has not finished in the bottom two once. Super Mario has three wins and has finished in the bottom two twice now. That last one was he finished in the bottom two. But now we got our finals. Our finals set. 
It's Aura Lord versus Super Mario. I am very excited for this one. Super Mario, his chances are in his favor. He looks to become a champion once again, but Aura Lord has been performing pretty well. Of course, the one-on-one -on -one is going to be kind of scary to see. He had a big stock advantage uh, when he faced Super Mario in that round. So, here we go. And our random stage is... Mar okay, of course. Of course it's a flipping Mario stage. This just seems to... This uh, the, Oh, fun story. This is actually the same stage where uh, Sumara won his last day. Won his... The one the first tournament. He was facing uh, Long from Pennsylvania. I think this is... I think for Orlord, the strategy is to get as many attacks as possible. Try not to get grabbed. Try not to... Try, try to time your attacks at the right time because... Sumar is definitely going to heal. He's, he's, you see he's been doing already there. A lot of rolling there. And Sumar, of course, already has a big advantage. And I think that thing that also... I think that um, the fact that Overlord or Lucario in general gets more power as he takes damage is going to be really exciting to see how Mario is going to stand up to that. And with Lucario having as much damage as he does with uh, this amiibo, it's going to be very exciting to see. He could be just as powerful as uh, Super Mario sometimes. Well, oh, that's a nice kick. That's going to hurt Oral Lord a lot, but recovery's good. Very close bout, and Super Mario's going to die first. Oral Lord does have a lot of damage, though. Doesn't need to be very... Oh! He caped it. We're right back to an even ground here on the second stock. That was exciting. Mario always seems to get that cape at the right time. You, it really, it's really cool to see him time it so perfectly, especially even against some something attack like that when it was close ranged. Oh my goodness! And Mario's barely gonna recover. Was trying to hop away there to give himself a little bit of a, a little bit of space to avoid maybe a ledge attack or something like that. Oh, nice kick! Lucario's going to recover, though. Lucario has some pretty good recovery. That evade, the um, evading uh, grabs is also helping him a lot. That could have easily been a killing grab there. Tried, it looked like he was going to try and go for a smash there, but or for a spike there, but couldn't do it. And Mario's going to hit that one. He has 91 damage going into his, sec in his second stock, but he does have the advantage now. Mario with 135 damage, trying to put on as much as possible in this stock, or even try to go for the kill. Right now he's doing really well at timing his attacks, timing his shields. He's doing very well with that. Defending champion Mario, Mario here on the edge of winning both tournaments. Oh, and he's going to recover. He also has that long recovery. DB Man put that on him near the beginning of this tournament to give him some more recovery. Oh, that's a nice hit. That's going to break his shield. And that's going to smash him, but Overlord has a lot of damage. Mario has one full stock to really try and end this whole thing. He's nice, one nice smash away. Oh, and there it is. And with that, Super Mario is once again your Amiibo Tournament Champion. Oh, Lord, put up a good fight there, though. Put him down to one stock. It was actually a pretty good contest. I think he gave him more of a contest than Lonk did in the first Amiibo Tournament. Nonetheless, Mario still wins and is the second Amiibo Tournament Champion. That battle lasted 3 minutes and 38 seconds. Well, that'll round off the second Amiibo tournament. That was very exciting. So to recap, Super Luigi got fifth place. Mr. Boozer got fourth place. DP Man Jr. with third. Oral Lord with second. I'm very proud of him. I was not expecting him to do as well as he did, but he did good. 
And once again, Super Mario is your Amiibo Tournament Champion. So that will be enough for Amiibo Tournaments for a little bit now. As I mentioned many times before, or maybe not in, this, in videos, but on Twitter and in other stuff. I am going to be doing Mario Party 2 with DP Man as my next series. And then I'll probably hop into another Amiibo Tournament to probably allow more time to think up other stuff to uh, do afterwards. But that's going to round this up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Def Stamina, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.